Hello and welcome to Python for Everybody. We're doing a bit of code walkthrough and if you want to, you can get to the uh, sample code and download it all so that you can walk through the code yourself. What we're walking through today is the PageRank code. And so the PageRank code, um, let me get the picture of the PageRank code up here. Here's the picture of the PageRank code. And so the page rank code is a has four chunks of code that are going to uh, five chunks of code that are going to run. The first one we're going to look at is the spidering code, and then we'll do a separate look at these other guys uh, later. So the first one we'll look at is spidering, and again, it's sort of the same pattern of we've got some stuff on the web. In this case, web pages. We're gonna we're going to have a, a database that sort of just captures the stuff. It's not really trying to be particularly intelligent, but it is going to parse these with beautiful soup and add things to the database, okay? And so then we'll talk about how we run the PageRank algorithm and then how we visualize the PageRank algorithm uh, in a bit. Now, the first thing to notice is that I've got to put, I, I put the beautiful soup code in right here, okay? So this is, you can get this from the bs4.zip file. Um, there might be a readme, no, but there's a readme somewhere. But you got to get, use beautiful soup, you got to put this bs4zip or you have to install beautiful soup for your stuff. So I provide this bs4.zip as a quick and dirty way if you can't install uh, something for every for all of the Python users on your system. So that's what it's supposed to look like. You're supposed to have it unzipped right here in these files and I don't know what dammit.py means. That came from beautiful soup. If you look it's in their source code so I didn't I'm not swearing it's beautiful soup people are swearing. I'm sorry I apologize. Okay, so the code we're going to play with the most is, uh, in this first one, is called uh, spider.py. And, you know, we're going to do databases, we're going to read URLs, and we're going to parse them with beautiful soup. Okay. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to make a file. Again, this will make spider.sqlite. And if you're here, we are in page rank and else minus L. Spider.sqlite is not there, so it's going to create the database. We do create table if not exists. We're going to have an integer primary key because we're going to do foreign keys here. We're going to have a URL and the you're going to have the URL which is uh, unique, the HTML which is unique, whether we got an error, and then for the second half when we start doing page rank, we're going to have old rank and new rank because the way page rank works is it takes the old rank, computes the new rank, and then replaces the new rank with the old rank, and then does it over and over again. And then we're going to have a uh, a many-to-many -many table, which points really back. So I call this from ID and to ID. We did this with some of the Twitter stuff. Um, and then this webs is just in case I have more than one web, but that really doesn't make much difference. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to select ID URL from pages where HTML is null. This is our indicator that a page has not yet been retrieved and error is null ordered by random. And so this is our way, this long bit of stuff, and this not all this SQL is completely standard, but this order by random is really quite nice in SQLite. Limit once is just randomly pick a record in this database where this true is true, and then pick it randomly. And then we're gonna fetch a row, and if that row is none, right, we're gonna ask for a new web, a starting URL and this is going to fire things up and we're going to insert this new URL otherwise we're going to restart and we, we, we have a row to start with and otherwise we're going to sort of prime this by inserting the URL we start with and insert into it if you hit enter it just goes to drchuck.com which is a fine place to start and then what we do is we this 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 what this does is its page rank is it uses this this webs table to limit the links. It only does links to the sites that you tell it to do links. And probably the best for your page rank is to stick with one site. Otherwise, you will just never find the same site again if you let this wander the web aimlessly. And so I generally run with one one web, which web this should be probably called websites. And I pull in all the data and I read this in and I just make myself a list of the URL, the legit URLs and you'll see how we use that. And the webs is how many, what are the legit places we're going to go? Because we're going to go through a loop, ask for how many pages, and we're going to look for a null page. Again, we're using that random order by random limit one. 
and then we're going to have a um, we're going to grab one. We're going to get the from ID, which is the page we're linking from, um, and then the URL. Otherwise, there's no unretrieved. And so the from ID is when we start adding links to our, our, our page links, we got to know the page we started with. And that's the primary key. We'll see how that primary key is set in a second. So otherwise, we have none. And we're going to print this. From ID, the from ID and the URL that we're working with. Um, just to make sure, we're going to wipe out all of the links because it's unretrieved. We're going to wipe out from the links. The links is the connection table that connects from pages back to pages. And so we're going to wipe out. So we're going to go grab this URL. We're going to read it. We're not decoding it because we're using uh, we're using Beautiful Soup, which con com we're using beautiful soup, which compensates for the UTF-8. And so it, we can ask, this is the HTML error code. And we checked 200 is a good error. And if we get a bad error, we're going to say this error on page. Uh, we're going to set that error. We're going to update pages. That way we don't retrieve it ever again. Um, we basically check to see if the content type is uh, text HTML. Remember in HTTP, you get the content type. We only want to retrieve it. We only want to look for the links on HTML pages, and so we wipe that guy out. If we get a JPEG or something like that, uh, we're not going to retreat JPEG. Um, and then we commit and continue. And so these are kind of like, oh, those were pages we didn't want to mess with. And then we print out how many characters we got and parse it. And we do this whole thing in a try accept block because a lot of things can go wrong here. It's a bit of a long try accept block. Um, Keyboard interrupt, that's what happens if I hit Control C uh, at my keyboard or Control Z on Windows. Um, some other exception probably means Beautiful Soup blew up or something else blew up. And so uh, we, uh, we indicate with the uh, error equals negative one uh, for that URL so we don't retrieve it again. At this point, at line 103, we have got the HTML for that URL. And so we're going to insert it in, and we're going to set the page rank to one. So the way page rank works is it gives all the pages some no normal value, and then it then it alters that. We'll see that in a bit. So it sets it in with one. Um, we're going to insert uh, insert or ignore. That's just in case this pages is already at the pages is not there. But um, and then we're going to do an update, and that's kind of doing the same thing twice, just sort of doubly making sure if it's already there, this or ignore will cause this to do nothing, and the update will cause us to retain it, and then we commit it so that if we do selects later, uh, we get that information. Now this code is similar. Remember, we use beautiful soup to pull out all the anchor tags. We have a for loop. We pull out the href, and you'll see this code's a little... <laughs> A little more complex than some of the earlier stuff because it has to deal with the real nastiness or imperfection of the web. And so we're going to use URL parse, which is actually part of uh, the URL lib code. Um, and that's going to break the URL into pieces. Come back. We use URL parse. We have the scheme, which is HTTP or HTTPS. Um, if it's a relative, this solves relative references. This is solves relative references by taking the current URL and hooking it up. URL join knows about slashes and all those other things. Uh, we check to see if there's an anchor, the pound sign at the end of a URL, and we throw everything past, including the anchor, away. If we have a JPEG or a, a PNG or a GIF, we are going to skip it. We don't want to bother with that. These we're looking through links now. We're looking at all the links. Um, and if we have a, a slash at the end, we're going to chop off the slash by saying minus one. And so this is just kind of nasty choppage and throwing away the URLs that we're going through a page and we have a bunch that we don't like or we have to clean them up or whatever. And now, and we've made them absolute by doing this, it's an absolute URL. This is just, you write this slowly but surely when your code blows up and you start it over and start it over and start it over. Um, Checked, then what we do is we check to see through all the webs. Remember, those were the URLs that we're willing to stay with, and usually it's just one. If this would link off the sites um, of the sites we're interested in, we're going to skip it. We are not interested in links that leave the site. So this is like link that left the site. Skip it. 
But now we finally here at page uh, line 132, we are ready to put this into pages, the URL and the HTML, and it's all it's all good, right? Um, and we're, that one's that one's going to be null right there because we haven't retrieved the HTML. This is null because this is a page we're going to retrieve. We're giving it a page rank of one, and we're giving it no HTML, and that way it'll be retrieved. And then we commit that, okay? And then we want to get the ID. So we, we could have done this with uh, uh, one way or another, but we're going to do a select to say, hey, what was the ID that either was already there or was uh, just created? And we grab that with a fetch one and say retrieve to ID. And now we're going to put a link in, insert or ignore into links from ID to ID, which is the, the ID, the primary key of the page that we're look, going through and looking for links. To ID is the link that we just created and away we run. So it's going to go and go and go and go. Um, if you, if, uh, let's go look at the create, create statement up here um, from ID and to ID right there. Okay. So, so let's run it. Uh, Python three, oops. Python three, spider, Python. So it's fresh and so it wants a URL with which to start. And I'll just start with my favorite website, www.drchuck.com. Now this, this basically, this first one you put in, it's going to stay on this website for a while, okay? So I'll hit enter, and let's just grab like, let's grab one page, just for yucks. Okay, so it grabbed that, and um, it printed out that it got uh, 85, 45 characters, and it printed out that it got um, six links. So if I go to this and open database, and I go to code three, and I go to page rank, and I look at this. Oh, um, let me get out so it closes. So here, so notice this SQLite journal. That means it's not done closing. So I'm going to get out of this by pressing enter. And so you'll notice now that that journal file went away, otherwise we would not be getting the final data. There we go. Okay, so webs, let's take a look at the data. Webs has just one URL, that's the URLs that we're allowing ourselves to look at. You can put more than one in here if you want, but most people will just leave this as one. Pages, so we got this first one and we retrieved this and this is the HTML of it and we found uh, six other URLs in there that are drchuck.com URLs, right? There was lots of other URLs in there, but there were only uh, five other ones that uh, that we found, okay? And so, and, and what we'll find is if we go to links, we'll see that page one links to two, links to three, links to four, links to five, links to six, because the links is just a many-to-many -many table. So page one points to page two, page one points to page two, page one to three, page one to five, okay? So that's what happens when we have the first page. So let's retrieve one more page. Now it's we could have um, started a new crawl, but we're just gonna we're gonna, it's gonna stay on drchuck.com and I'll just ask for one more page. And so now it went and grabbed. It randomly picked among these null guys and I'm gonna hit enter to close it and then I'll refresh this. And oh so it looks like we retrieved OBI sample and we didn't get any new links. And so the links page, no, we didn't get any new links. So that page, whatever that was, uh, OBI sample, uh, had no external links. So let's do another one. Oh, one more page. So that one had 15 links. So let's take a look now. So now we have 15 pages. It picked this one to do, right? And now it added 15 more pages. And then if you look at links, you will see that uh, page four, which is one it just retrieved, links back to page one. So now we're seeing this is where the page rank is going to be cool. Four links to one, four links to 
is whatever, away we go, right? One goes to four, four goes to one. I should have probably put a uniqueness constraint on that. It's not supposed to that duplicated that. Okay, so let's run this a bunch of times now. So let's run, uh, let's just run it 100 times for 100 pages. It'll take a minute. So you'll see it's like freaking out on certain pages and not parsing them, you know, and it's found its way into my blog. Um, it's finding like 27 links. This, this table is growing wildly at this point. It's going to take us a while before we get to 100. It's kind of slow. Now, the interesting thing is I can hit control C at any point in time, right? And so that blew up. But it's okay because the data is still there. And so if we go back to pages, for example, and we refresh our data, we see we got a ton of stuff. And this will restart and all the things. So if we search this, that I sorted that by HTML, you see that there's lots of files that we've got. And it's never going to retrieve those again because those have HTML. So then I can run this thing again and start it up. And when I say Control-C, your, your computer might go down, your network might go down. There's all kinds of all kinds of things that might happen, and you just pick up where it leaves off. It just picks up where it leaves off, and that's what's nice about this. Okay, so um, that's pretty much how this works. Um, uh, we are we are we've got this part running. We're seeing it flow into Spider to SQL Lite. We're seeing that we can start this and replace this. And so what I'll do is I will come back in the next video and show you how all these things work together and then how we actually do the page rank. So thanks again for listening and see you in the next video.